Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Nate. I'm glad to be here today and I like to say that I've really missed everybody. In today's class, we are going to learn how to insert images into our document and how to convert the images to be useful within our document. And uh, don't forget, we're learning to use the Microsoft Word application. Now, in our previous classes, we've learned how to do a few things, how to highlight text, how to um, add bold on the line, how to do a lot of things in Microsoft Word application. Today, we're going to learn, like I said initially, how to use images in our document. So first thing I want us to do is to launch the Microsoft Word application. So quickly, can you do that for me? While you are doing that, I would also do the same thing so that we can work in synergy. And for those of you that have not learned to launch the Microsoft Word application, you can follow through the process while I do it. I'm sure you'll find it very easy. So like I would always say, press the Windows button or the Start button on your computer system. Then you type the word W-O-R-D, which stands for Word. So Microsoft Word. Now I have different Microsoft Word application on my computer system, but for this class, I like to use the 27, 2007 version, 2007 version of the Microsoft Word application. So I have launched the Microsoft Word application. So we're going to type something. Let me type like a poem. We all know what's a poem, right? Yes, we do. So I want to type a poem and then first I like to see the page orientation that I'm using. So I'll use the zoom icon. So this shows I'm using landscape. So I want to change from landscape to portrait. To do that, I'll go to my page layout and then I'll go to my orientation and then I'll change to portrait. You can see the paper will change. Now there's a difference between this portrait and the landscape that I was using initially. So you can see this is portrait. Let me change to landscape so that you can see. This is landscape. And this is portrait. We're using portrait for this particular exercise. So I like to just zoom in so that we can see what we're doing properly. Then what is the title of my poem? Um, I would call it Ignorance. Oh, no, no, no. Let me not call it Ignorance. Let me call it, um, I want to type something that we all can easily relate with. Okay, so let me type Division of Labor. Division of Labor. So I want my title to be all in capital letter. So I'll press the caps lock key. I'll type Division of labor now the next thing i want to do is to make this bold i want to also make it a bit larger and i want to take it to the center alignment so i'll go to the home menu don't forget i told you in the last class that you should always highlight the text you want to add effect to then i'll choose my center alignment and then I am going to increase to 18. And then I can make it bold. And then I can underline. Then the next thing is to move to the next line. So for the next line, I don't want to use bold. I don't want to use underline. And I don't want to use size 18. I want to use 16 instead. Or better still, okay, let's leave it at 16. But I want to still use my center alignment center alignment so we're typing a poem and the title of the poem is division of labor so i'm just going to write we're just going to write a few statements don't forget we're just writing and the essence basically is to teach you how to use images in a text so i would just start by saying so I don't want to use caps lock, I'll remove capital letters or two, so I'll remove them by caps lock. So I'll say, mommy loves all the children. 
to be hard working. Mommy loves all the children to be hard working. Next line. Next line. So she trains us to do many things by ourselves. So if anything is wrongly spelled, the computer will underline it green. You can easily correct it. John is my younger brother. Shade is my elder sister. Namdi is my uncle's <laughs> uncle's child. Staying with us. We all make a good team because we share the home shares. Wow! I'm a great writer. So you see, I wrote all of that from my head. Now, the next thing is, let us try to insert an image that can depict all the things that we have written. So to do that, you need to use the internet. Now, don't forget, you should always use the internet with your uncle, your parent, or an adult supervision. So at this point, please get the help of mommy, daddy, or whoever is around you that is an adult to support you while you are on the internet. Now you are going to do this by yourself, but you just need for them to sit close to you so that you can be properly guided from adult only content. So to do that, you press your start button again, and then, like I would always say, you can use any of the browser, either Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. I like to always use Google Chrome. So you just type Chrome. So this is the icon for Chrome. I'll click Chrome. And then I can just choose any of the... Then I can just type Division. So before we go for that, this is my browser. This is my internet browser. My computer is connected to the internet already. So I don't need so much to do. So this is my computer system i have launched my google chrome internet browser my computer is connected to the internet so before you can do this first your computer must be connected to the internet secondly you must launch your browser either mozilla firefox this is mozilla firefox either mozilla to, to use mozilla you just type m o z i l l a mozilla firefox the browser is going to pop up just like you can see. It's asking me to make it my default browser. No, I don't want it as my default browser. But I'm not going to use Mozilla Firefox. Instead, I'm going to use Google Chrome because it is my favorite. So this is the browse the address bar. So every internet browser has an address bar. So for my Google Chrome, this is the address bar. If you check the Mozilla Firefox, this is the address bar. The address bar is where you type what you want. So I want the images of division of labor. So I'll just type division of labor. Division of labor. I'll press enter. 
and then I'll just click images. So Google Chrome is going to show me a lot of images that shows division of labor. So I'm just going to look the one that is most appropriate. I'm going to look for the one that is most appropriate. I'm searching for images on division of labor. I am still searching. Let's look at this image. No, I don't like this image. So you have to keep searching till you find image. Okay, so I can say division of labor for children. I'm still searching. Okay, I think I, I found something. So I think this is not bad. This is manageable. Still loading. Okay, so if you look at this image, you can see that this, this person here is cleaning the glass. This person is mopping. This person is cleaning um, I think the table and this other person is trying to dispose the refuse. Let's still see if we can get better images. Let me still type division of labor examples and see if we can still get better. Okay, so I think I like this. Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't like that. We most likely will go for the other image I saw before. So I'm taking my time to search for the most appropriate image. That should tell you that whenever you are searching for information on the internet, there are so many information you will find, but you just need to pick the one that is most appropriate to what you need. So there are several things here. I've not found the one that is good enough for me. Examples in cartoons. I'm still searching, I'm still searching, I'm still searching. I'm still searching. Okay. Let's just pick this. We'll just manage this. So if you look at this particular image, there's somebody in the kitchen trying to make the food. There's somebody trying to taste the food. There's another person trying to serve. So let's just use this. I am going to just copy this image. Then I'll go to my document and then I'll paste. So now when you paste, the next thing is to double click on the image. You go to wrap text, you can always use square and then you can reduce the image to fit in your document properly. I can put it at the center. I can even put it at the top. So I could take it to the top of my document. I want to zoom out so that we can see properly. So I want the image to be at the top, then the right top at the bottom. So this is my image at the top and then my right top at the bottom. So you can see we have successfully used the image and the text together. So this is quite easy, but you need to practice this over and over again. Now, mind you, on your own computer system, you might find better image that represent division of labor. I'm sure you all know what is division of labor because I know you've been taught in your class. So please try this out. Try to write a poem. Try to get an image that goes well with the write-up. And don't forget to use, to double click and use text wrap. If you don't use text wrap, your image will not be able to move within the document. And then you can always reduce your image. And please, always reduce your image from the edges. Don't reduce it from the sides. It's going to spoil the shape of the image. Don't re reduce it or increase it from the top. 
always adjust your images from the edges. Do you understand? I hope you have learned a lot from this class. In our next class, we will further more on this. But please practice this. Learn to insert images into your documents. Don't forget to also get an adult to support you while you're on the internet. So this is going to bring us to the end of today's class. Don't forget to like this, this video and subscribe to this channel. See you in our next class. Bye for now.